this is Vishal. She's my student. And this is... What's your name? Iman. I know that it's Iman, but I wanted you to say it. Okay, they're going to tell me what they learned. Watch this. How many kinds of words are there in Arabic? Three. What are they? What's an ism? Ism is a person, place, thing, idea, adjective, adverb, and more. What's a fiz? Feral is a word stuck in the past, present, or future. What's a house? A word that makes no sense unless another word comes after it. How many properties does an ism have? Four. What are Status, they? number, gender, type. Okay, what are the three forms of status? What does rafa signify? What's the purpose of rafa? A door. What's nasab? A detail. What's jaz? A word that comes after of. What are the... Okay, if I was saying Ibrahim, what's the rafa and nasab and jar way of saying the word Ibrahim? Rafa is Ibrahimu, nasab is Ibrahima, and jar is Ibrahima. Why? Why not Ibrahimi? Because it's a non-Arab name. Okay, <laughs> now, um, what's a mudaf and a mudaf today? A mudaf, uh, uh, that's, it's a fragment. Okay. A mudaf is a word that's not heavy, and it doesn't have an L. Mm -hmm. And a mudaf ilayh is a word uh, that has to be tough. Do they have to be next to each other, or can they be far apart? They have to be next to each other. When you translate them, how do you translate them? You put an oven between. Okay. What's a, what's a, what are the harp of jar? What do they do? They make the word after them jar. Does the word after them have to be an ism? That's a hard question. Yeah. Yeah, good. Okay. Uh, do you know the past tense? You do the next line. That's just a little bit of what they learned. These kids are awesome. Give me fives. Give me fives. Give me fives. Give me fives. It's okay. You can give me elbow. Okay. <laughs> I have seven.